What are we working on today, hmm? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm stuck. You can help? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job. Jago. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video today. My name's Leanne and I wanted to talk about composting for a little bit. We just cut the grass and I have a ton of grass to rake up and add to my compost pile. I wanna show you the pile really quick. What we've been adding, kitchen scraps, which is mostly like coffee grounds, banana peels, eggshells. I add, I add chicken manure from the chicken run and I'm gonna add these grass clippings. But another thing we've been adding recently is fish carcasses. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Now, if you're gonna put things like fish carcasses and eggshells and chicken manure in your compost pile, you need to do your research and figure out how long those things take to break down because that will help you figure out when it will be ready to use. Now, I don't plan on using this until like this time next year or like early spring next year. So I think that'll be plenty of time to break down. We, I'm gonna add these, this, I'm gonna add all of this extra grass clippings to it. Side note, if you are going to put fish carcasses on your compost pile, you're going to want to put something on top of it because it really stinks. You can't see the fish right now. Okay, this pile, is mostly straw and chicken manure from the chicken run. And as you can see, there's eggshells, coffee filters, some paper towels, um, some wood leaves, pine needles, bunch of stuff. <laughs> Got the three stall set up. Not been using them so much. The bugs just kind of keep me away from this area. Also, Side note, I cleared this area out a little bit better. So we live on a half an acre. We've got five chickens, a small backyard vegetable garden, and then some potted plants, some flowers and stuff in the front yard. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've got a three stall compost set up that I'm about to add some grass clippings to. Ben just cut the grass and it's been raining so much lately that the grass got super tall before we were able to cut it before it was dry enough to cut. So if I don't rake all this grass up, our lawn is going to die. So that's what I'm working on right now. Oh. I am not an expert videographer, if you didn't already gather that. Let's go to the garden. Oh. I don't know if anybody else is like this, but whenever I carry like a shovel or a rake like this on me, I always want to start singing the song in Snow White, the Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Yeah? Oh, look at the garden. Cucumbers are taken off. So beautiful. So very lovely. All that stuff in the chicken yard is branches from behind the fence that I cleared out so that I could get back there easier. All right, I need to weed eat over here again super badly. Look at this glorious sunflower. Easily six feet tall, maybe even seven feet tall. Oh yeah, totally seven feet tall, because I'm five, six. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you guys. So, something super exciting is happening. We're adding to the garden space. Okay, that extra garden space, I've been talking about adding it for a while. It is going to be some extra zucchini squash. 
I have some pumpkin plants growing already. I've got like four bonus pumpkin plants that I'm hoping give me some decorative pumpkins. And then I have pie pumpkins growing over by the corn. Ben informed me that he is not as much of a fan of pumpkin pie or pumpkin things. I am, but if I'm the only one that's gonna eat it, I'm not gonna plant more pumpkin. And I can fit more zucchini in that space than I can pumpkin. So I'm gonna add that to there. I still need to rake that out. I was going to bring some logs back there to use to kind of border, make a sort of like a raised bed, kind of um, mixed matched, sloppy raised bed, but that's kind of how I roll. Everything's mixed matched in my garden. Mixed matched or mismatched? Mismatched, that makes more sense. Anyway, I gotta get raking all of this grass up and my phone's gonna die. Oh my gosh. My arm is dying. Holding my phone up, so let me switch hands. I'm adding all this grass to the compost. I gotta rake it up still. Okay, I've gotta rake this up faster than I've ever raked anything up in my entire life because I'm losing light. boys your boys you're so cute all right I've got it all piled up time to get the wheelbarrow out as you can see I am running out of light the Sun is beyond the trees I'm gonna get as much of this done as I can while I still have some light and I'll check back in tomorrow and show you guys how much it piles up in the compost Hopefully I can get this all cleaned up and in the compost pile before I'm completely out of light. But I am going to stop recording right now also because my phone is about to die. So thanks for watching also. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. If you haven't already subscribed, if you want to be kept in the loop with my garden adventures, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I... Would you like some help? Yes. <laughs> you'll be notified whenever I upload something new. Okay, put it on. Bye for now. Hey guys, I actually just looked back at the content that I took yesterday for this video. And I was like, you could tell that I'm losing light or whatever. Uh, you could not. But I was, let me tell you. It's getting dark. Jack and I did finish raking all of the grass up. It was actually really sweet. He had a bucket. He was filling it with grass and carrying it over to the pile and dumping it in. I had the wheelbarrow, this is cute, being my little helper. Let me show you how much it added to the compost piles. Pretty amazing, like doubled it. It still stinks though. Not enough to cover that fish up. If we go back to the before shot. And then this is how much more. Yeah. pretty cool and that'll settle back down and it won't be as much compost as this pile is currently but it'll be a really good amount I'm gonna call this pile good for now if I have more things to compost I'll start a new pile so that I know roughly when it'll be ready to use again guys I like to add grass clippings and kitchen scraps and the chicken compost or manure and their bedding to my compost pile. And then recently we've been adding fish carcasses because we've been fishing a lot. So um, I have a little bit more to talk about. Also, I wanna go back over here. It's cucumbers doing such a good job. I have a baby cucumber on there. Let's hope you get pollinated. So really quick. That is a female blossom. And that is a male blossom. You can see the stem on a male blossom. 
and the stem on the female blossom, it looks like a little baby cucumber. So if that does not get pollinated with the pollen from the male flower, it will not form a baby cucumber, or it will not form a cucumber. So you could do that yourself with a Q-tip. Um, like rub it on the inside of the flower and then rub it on the inside of this flower but it should happen on its own got a couple flowers it looks like there's only one female flower so far so pretty with all the dew on the leaves so I think there's three plants right here Maybe four. Yeah, four plants right here. Four plants right here. Pretty cool. The ones over here are starting to take off too. There's only three over here. I need to re sow one. Ah. All the way up. It's starting to come back down too. Look at this loofah. Keep walking through spider webs. Reach for the sky. That's a pretty loofah. I don't see very many ants on it today. I sprayed this with neem oil per the advice of one of my viewers. This is day two after the neem oil. Pretty cool. Okay. Come over here for a minute. So back here, this pile of dirt I got for free. It's actually compost from a city dump. We have a dump in town, or near town rather, and they have a composting st station and there's a just a huge pile. Big downside to getting compost that way is that it has a lot of plastic mixed in with it, like plastic from those bags that oranges come in and avocados come in. It was kind of like shredded up in there and that sort of thing, but it's free. So I sifted out the plastic and got the dirt. It's pretty cool. Happy for free dirt. <laughs> There are so many opportunities to be able to garden very inexpensively. If you find in your city that you have a landfill or a dump that has a composting station, you can get free compost. And that is huge because a lot of people will tell you the growing medium or the dirt that you use for your garden will be the most expensive thing if you're going to be growing in raised beds because if you're growing in the dirt the native soil then obviously you don't have to spend any money on it but for a lot of people their native soil isn't good enough to grow in so they buy dirt or they make compost or something but that takes a lot of time so if you're able to find something like this it's awesome i just had to use a little bit of elbow grease to fill up my truck with it and bring it back over here. Ben helped me unload it and he actually like drug a huge um, tarp full of dirt back there for me. It was awesome. So you can still garden on a budget. This was free 99 so do not be discouraged by thinking things will be too expensive because it will not. You just need to get creative. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you need a friend to learn how to garden with, I'm your girl. Happy gardening.